Hi everyone, it's Erin. Um, I have little Jay with me. Now she just woke up from a really strange late afternoon nap, so I'm not sure how she's going to sleep tonight, but she's really awake right now. So um, I decided to bring her in the video with me. Uh, this is hopefully going to be um, yeah, month six and seven update. Um, I'll just kind of combine them and cram them in together. There's a lot of stuff that happened. Um, so I'll kind of start from the beginning. Uh, I did a five month update I believe and um, I believe that's what I titled it. I know I did one around that time frame. Um, and my husband came home um, for his mid tour. I left my job to become a stay at home mom. I covered that. Um, so now I'm stay at home mom but I packed my schedule so much. Uh, I left forever to go see my family. I came back for like less than a week and then I left to go see my husband's family and I just got back this week and we've had doctor's appointments and uh, mayhem everywhere. So we're just now getting um, to a place where we can start doing videos again and I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that we're okay and uh, Chunkers here is definitely doing fine. She's no longer tiny. Um, I have like a little list on my phone so that I don't forget anything because I know I need to do this quickly um, to cover everything. First of all, weight issues. Uh, at her five month checkup, we actually got told that um, she was getting a little bit big. By six months, she basically said that um, she's a little, uh, not overweight, but like borderline. Um, she had like over quadrupled her weight by her six month checkup and most babies need to double. Granted, she was really tiny, so she should have more than doubled, but quadrupled is a little bit much. Um, we just went to, I'm going to get her a toy. We just went to a um, doctor's appointment. You like your Sophie? Yeah, oh, yes. We like Sophie. Um, we went to a doctor's appointment on her seven-month mark, so on the 4th. Um, and she ended up weighing 19 pounds, 7 ounces at 7 months. That is huge. And I just went shopping for clothes the other day and looked on the tag and saw that 12 months is 20 pounds. She's not going to fit into 12 months because she's too short. Um, and she still fits in a 9 month just fine. And even some that say 6 to 9 months she still fits in. So I know that's not completely accurate, but... Just thinking, like, she's so huge. Like, I really think my body must have just said, this child is going to blow up and get too huge. I need to have her right now. I think that's the only reason she was preemie. Because ever since she was born, she's just been gaining weight so quickly. So, anyway, she's nice and chunky and healthy. And um, if anything, we have to restrict her food a little bit. <laughs> I'm not overfeeding her. She gets four to five, six ounce bottles a day. And then now she's getting food too. So, I mean, it's every day varies. We're not really that strict with schedules. That's the next thing I want to talk about. Um, I know a lot of moms are very strict with their schedules. Everything's timed. There's like a 10 o'clock nap, a 2 o'clock nap, you know. Um, we're, we're more flexible. I just know that typically she's awake for about two hours and she'll have a bottle and she'll take a nap. She's awake for two, three hours. She has another bottle. She takes a nap. Could be the nap right before a bottle or it could be a nap right after a bottle. I just know that that's about how she goes and we're pretty flexible and she seems happy with it. And her nighttime sleeping is amazing. We had a little setback whenever... <laughs> you don't know who I'm talking to? No. <laughs> um, we went to my husband's family and um, she's been teething ever since five months. And it got worse whenever we were there. Uh, still nothing in the mouth at that point. Um, she was having diarrhea. She wasn't sleeping at night again. It was awful. But the day we got back here, she slept 13 hours that night. And before we left, she was sleeping 10 to 11 hours that night. And, you know, that's from 7.30ish on. So it's not like I'm getting that much sleep. But she's getting a lot of sleep. And it's amazing. And it's all the way through the night. So I cannot, cannot complain. Um, but... Here lately, the last couple days, it's been like 11, um, about 11 hours every night. So, sleeping champ, awesome. Um, and, ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh. Um, on the subject of teething, she got her first tooth. It's like barely coming through the gum. It's like 
barely peeking through. I reached my finger in there two mornings ago. And, like, I do it every morning. I wash my hands when I make our first bottle. And, do you not want this, honey? Um, I wash my hands when I make our first bottle. And I always reach in to see if I can feel something. And, bam, it was a little sharp edge. And I had felt a lump whenever we were in New Jersey. But nothing, um, nothing came through yet. So, um, let's see if she wants this. You want your sippy cup? No? Yo, yes. Good girl. Um, so that's really awesome. And I felt so excited and so sad at the same time. I don't know why I felt sad. I just feel like she's growing up. And she, I mean, she's taking a sippy cup. Um, milestones, she is seem, seeming to hit all of them. Um, verbally, she can repeat um, confidence. She can say, dad, dad, ga, ga. Um... She babbles a lot, especially when she thinks she's alone or when she's playing by herself or like in the crib in the morning. Um, in front of people, not so much, but um, she's starting to get a little bit shy. And um, she can sit up, but one really weird thing, um, she will not roll over. She rolled over really early on, honey, um, really early on from her belly to back. When I would lay her on her belly, she would roll to her back. And she did that at like three months, which was awesome. Um, and I hope you like this. And uh, I thought we, everything was going to be just fine. And then like around five months, it kind of became less and less, six months. Now she'll just lay on her belly and she'll scream and wait for me to roll her over. And I'll wait for a long time because I don't want her to get used to that. But she'll lay there until she's hyperventilating and snotting. And then, you know, I'm like, well, I <laughs> let my child suffer, so I roll her over. But she's just gotten really lazy, and she's never rolled from from back to belly. And we do tons of tummy time. We do blanket tricks. Um, we go to Jamboree once a week. Um, and a, a Jamboree play, not the clothing store. Um, and they do tons of, like, interactive things and teach you how to, like, sing songs and play with, song, play with um, colors and bubbles and tons of fun stuff and they showed us this blanket trick to try to get her to roll over and we do that I don't know what else it is um, we're, we work on it every day to try to get her to roll over and she just won't so we have um, a follow up physical therapy appointment because she was in the NICU they just do it it's routine for all babies who are in the NICU um, and I'm going to ask them about that whenever we get there um, Oh, I guess she's wanting to talk right now, even though she's not alone. Um, medical issues that we've had so far. Um, she has had a lot of coughing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm to talk over her. She's had a lot of coughing um, since she was two, three months. Um, she always seems to be congested a lot. She likes her teether. It's not cold this time, though. Um... A lot of coughing, a lot of congestion. They think it's allergies, and they think um, her daddy has asthma really bad. So it might be related to asthma in some way, but they don't diagnose it this early. So basically, she has reactive airway disease, is what they call it. It's really no different than asthma that you would be an adult. And for me, being around my husband, I'm really not scared of the asthma itself. I feel confident in that. Like, we have inhalers. She has... Um, she just got a breathing treatment machine um, to use whenever necessary. We did it this morning because she was coughing. It usually happens when she's sleeping. Um, she gets really coughy and kind of wheezy sounding, but that's it. The rest of the day she's fine. And I just always make sure I carry it with me so that <laughs> she likes to bounce. Um, so that's been kind of a, a strange thing, but um, you know, nothing I'm nothing I'm too scared about. Uh, what was that thing? Rash on our cheeks. Uh, we were giving a bath every other night, and actually, we started off really early on, only like two or three times a week um, for my doctor, and then we moved to every other day um, when it was getting hotter. And then when uh, we were visiting my husband's family, uh, it was so hot there. She was getting so sweaty every day. I started giving her a bath every day. And she likes her bath so much. I continue to do that whenever we got here. <laughs> you talking with mommy? Um, 
Anyway, I guess she started getting like scaly marks on her cheeks. It looked like um, just a red rash and it was dry. And I kind of thought it might be eczema, but when we went to the um, doctor, they confirmed that it is eczema. And it just is basically, she has really sensitive, allergy prone skin, and it's dry. So she shouldn't have very many baths. Um, she also has some pink marks in between the fat rolls on her elbows or her um, ankles. Yeah? No, you're done with it? Um, so I guess that's also related to eczema. We had, we're using an oatmeal shampoo, or shampoo and body wash by Avino. Um, and we're using an eczema specific um, anti-steroid type lotion by Avino as well. They gave us a hydrocortisone, but extended use of that is not, I don't know. I, I might use that too, on, not on her face. You're not allowed to use that on her face, just on the rest of her body. Can you see yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Can you see yourself? Yeah. Uh, and the last issue, um, we have, she has uh, almost like a lazy eye, only when she looks in a certain direction. Um, again, nothing I'm that worried about. I just wanted to ask the doctor about it, and they said that we're going to go to an eye specialist, so I don't know if that means they might do nothing and keep an eye on it. She might wear glasses for a little bit. She, I don't know. I have no idea what they're going to do. Okay, so um, I hope everybody out there is doing okay. And uh, I know that there's a couple of military spouses. I think I said this on my five month, but I never really heard from them. Um, there's a few other military spouses out there that their husbands were gone or their significant others were gone. And they were going to have to be going through this alone too. So, um, if anybody is going through that and wants to tell me how they're doing, I know there was two ladies in particular who were commenting on the videos, and then a few other had sent me private messages. Um, but I'm really, I think about you guys all the time, and I am wondering how you're doing about it. Um, if your spouses are back, uh, if you went to live with family, if you were already around family, I can't remember for some of them. Um, anyway, comment below and let me know how you're doing, or send me a private message. And um, I hope everybody's doing really well. These will probably be, the updates will probably be um, once a month or maybe more. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to commit to too much um, knowing that I have a full schedule with her now. Uh, but I will be home more often, so hopefully I'll have more time to make them. Um, and product reviews, and that'll pretty much be it. So um, I guess that's it. <laughs> Can you say bye? Can you say bye? <laughs> Can you say bye bye? <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> no. Right. <Rawr. laughs>